are a Space Boy, which is a.k.a. Jim Guerrero, and Sir Lana. And Sir Lana is the pseudonym for co-host of Space Boy Universe Live and Space Boy's wife. Sir Lana has an extensive experience in research during her time in college as an ex- as an English major. Her role for the Space Boy Universe Live is research topics, contact guests, and... Okay, they can hear me, Mr. Rowe. Thank you very much, Mr. Rowe. And free interview guests, maintain social media, the website, and Eagle Wrangler for Space Boy. And she has artwork on DeviantArt, Deviant, Deviant Art site. And Space Boy's bio is the founding member of Space Boy, Jim Guerrero, started writing music at an early age. However, it was not till the late 90s that he started producing music for the masses. Inspired by the synth styles of the Pet Shop Boys, Erasure, Craftwork, Art of Noise, and 8-Bit, he has created excuse me, crafted his work into a hybrid of synth pop with modern electronic music of today with pounding beats, high energy arpeggios and soothing orchestral movements. Space Boy will sure to be part of anyone's music collection. He certainly is. And currently you can hear Space Boy's Fade or Not. And of course we know what that one is. One open for Fade to Black with Jimmy Church on the GC network and syndicated on KGRI Digital Broadcasting Alternative, Paranormal, and UFO Radio. In addition, Space Boy's music has been featured on shows like the Q Science Project on the KGRA, DB Radio, Future Theater, and Skywatchers on the Dark Matter Radio Network, Truth Funders Radio, Inception Radio, and featured as an emerging artist on Coast to Coast AM for February 2016. That's just awesome. And also, you can catch Space Boy as the co-host of the Space Boy Universe broadcast here on SpaceBoyUniverse.com. And it's just awesome to have them on tonight. I have so much respect for both of them. Please welcome Space Boy and Sir Lana onto the show this evening. Hello and good evening. Hi. Howdy. Hi. It's wonderful to have both of you on tonight. I, I love your work. I love your shows and uh, just really thrilled to have you on. So welcome. Well, we're excited to be here. and uh, Our first I, interview I, together. I mean, I've known you for a while. And uh, I mean, uh, like I said, before we got started here, I'm just tickled pink that we're, we have this opportunity to spend a little time with you. Well, excellent. Well, welcome aboard here tonight. And I love the name Space Boy. And of course, we're going to have to dive into that immediately and, and ask how you came to terms with using the terminology Space Boy to identify who you are. Well, um, I guess it kind of started with, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big ba- uh, David Bowie fan. And of course, he wrote a song called Space Boy. And uh, another b- uh, band that I'm really into, and you mentioned it in the bio, was the Pet Shop Boys. And they kind of collaborated together on the song, and I guess it was just uh, kismic, and uh, I took on the persona, and I guess in March of 1999, that's when I began my alter ego as Space Boy, and I've been doing it for over 17 years now. That's fantastic. Well, you look too young to have been doing that for 17 years, but <laughs> yes, you're one of those Dorian Gray types, I can tell. So. Yes, he is. Somewhere there's a picture of him that's just terribly aged and wrinkled, and I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's in your closet, isn't it, Sir Lana? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, he's got it somewhere. I can't find it. That's wonderful. Well, I, I was just saying how, how I was touching base with you guys off air and so far as how much of a compliment both of you are together. And I wanted to know, how, how did y'all meet? Uh, do you want to take this one? Yeah, sure. Um, from my side of the story, uh, I had just moved to Texas from northwest Louisiana, where I spent my entire life. And I was just trying to get a fresh start, just you know, find my own life, you know, find a job. And um, my friend who lives somewhere here in Houston said that, well, you need to get out there. You need to at least go on one date, just, you know, do it, get it over with. And so at the time I was doing, it doesn't exist anymore, but it was Yahoo Personals. So it was an you know, online dating thing and, you know, went through that for about a month and then finally connected. This is in 2004, um, October. I connected with this guy, and we exchanged a lot of emails back and forth about, you know, what we like, and then it was several emails into it, and then we were talking about sci-fi movies and TV shows we liked, and I said, we well, you know I've got all of Red Dwarf on DVD, and he said, you know what, we should meet. <laughs> so it, I guess he just wanted me for my DVD collection, and so the our first date he walked up to me, introduced himself, and handed me his latest CD, and I went, ooh, smooth. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Indeed. Yeah, uh, on the flip side, uh, basically, uh, I'm a workaholic, and so I was like, you know, I didn't pretty much have many friends or anybody to go out with, and I thought, you know, I would really just like to go out and hang out with somebody, and, and that's when I stumbled upon the Yahoo personals and uh, um, ended up... Um, you know, she was like the top of my list. I, I basically, you know, to be full disclosure, you know, I picked all the criteria and everything, and I found it. 
I wasn't really finding anybody that I found that interesting. And that's when I just said, you know what? Scrap that. Let's just see what comes up. And You lowered your standards? I didn't lower my standards. <laughs> I'm just saying that uh, sometimes uh, just going with the flow works. Excellent. Well, you all are a very nice couple. I will say that point blank. Mm, well, thank you. Appreciate sure. it. Yeah, I think I just I think you have a nice chemistry. So that's good that you're married, then, right? As we as we talked mm-hmm. about earlier. Yeah. Yes, she keeps me grounded. I mean, uh, in fact, uh, we're in the studios right now of Space Boy Universe, and behind her, to keep me grounded, she's got two postcards up on the wall that say, "Careful, Icarus." Yeah, that's oh, to keep cute. him. Yeah. Keep me grounded. She she I'll is. I'll point the- to one if he's getting too close <laughs> to something. I'm like I'm like. I'll point behind me and like, careful, Icarus, you're getting a little too close there. And <laughs> That's so cute. This is wonderful. So how did you get involved in radio? What what turned you on with doing the radio? Well, it, it kind of started back when I first started listening to Dark Matter Radio Network. Uh, you know, I got involved with uh, listening to Jimmy's show on um, Fade to Black. And then, of course, all some of the other outstanding programs, such as yours, you know, became a big fan of yours. And uh uh, and um, uh, the, uh, I guess uh, some of the other shows that they had on, but uh, uh, I'm kind of like one of those uh, people that, you know, I watch, I listen and learn. And I got a chance to uh, actually meet Jimmy out and contact in the desert for a couple of years and see how he did his setup. And, and I always was fascinated. I mean, I was doing the music thing and, um, but uh, I've always enjoyed doing uh, kind of a fake broadcast kind of thing or commercials and stuff like that. And, I guess, I guess, uh, September of last year, uh, I just said, you know what? I have the equipment. I can just convert a lot of this equipment over to doing a live broadcast. And uh, at the time, you, you know, and I love this part, um, Solana was not uh, the kind of person that would jump behind no. the mic. And, no. It was, let alone just to get her to record a podcast, not even to think about, can I get her to do it live? I don't like pictures of me. I don't want my voice <laughs> recorded. I don't like evidence of me out there. I just, I'm weird like that. And I'm, I'm like the opposite. I'm the, I'm the big, the hand. He's a ham. So that's how that all started is. Uh, I he needs to be adored. I, well, that's another story for another time. But yeah, so I was, you know, watching and listening to, you know, and I thought, wow, well, I don't want to make it sound belittle or anything. I thought, well, I think I could do that. I mean, let me take a whack at it. And so this this time from September 28th to now, we've been, it's kind of, we call it our pilot year, where we've been uh, honing our craft and learning new things. And and uh, it's been quite of an experience. So, and, and of course, now you've kind of got an he, idea. He suckered me into it. He <laughs> said, you know, can, can you do, like, just help me out. I thought he was going to record a couple of podcasts, you know, where you just record it and it's not live and you just put it out there and you leave it. Um, I thought, well, you know, maybe I can do a couple just to help you, to prompt you to discuss something. Maybe you could just like edit me out or something and make it sound like you're not talking to someone. And next thing you know, here we are. Awesome. (laughs) Isn't that interesting how he reeled you in? Yes, I, I and I. I can't get out of it because I'm trapped now. You're good. You're it's awesome. His, it's his universe, and I'm trapped in it. <laughs> oh, da, da, da. Uh, yeah, space boy. <laughs> Everybody's trapped in your universe. It's kind of cool, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's truly really, it is my universe, and and everybody just is a part of that. <laughs> That's not to say you know we don't have some tension every now and over it sometimes. But the, but the reality of that is it works into our conversations and it translates well on the air and you know whether it's tension from that or I marital miss angst. Yeah, marital angst and it makes for good comedy I believe. Oh yeah. And usually that ends in with me saying well maybe your next wife will do that. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> well Sir Lana keeps you honest and I like that. Yes somebody has to keep me honest. Absolutely. Well, I've listened to your show, and I must say, your shows are professional, intelligent, and and your music, of course, is excellent. And I'm I'm very pleased to have you on tonight, and I'm very proud and, and very happy to be on your show too. I think that's coming up on the 11th, right? Yes, yes. this next Saturday, uh, we're going to have you for two hours, and uh, Sir Lana and I are going to grill you, and, uh, <laughs> you and have to tell me what I got to go research. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's fine. I'm, I'm happy to talk in any direction. And of course, with the over technologies, we'll have a good time with that. And oh, yes. and be uh, very informative for the listeners. There's no doubt about that one. Yeah. So w- let's tell everybody about your show insofar as how to listen to the show and when it's on. Well, basically, our show is on the, the website spaceboyuniverse.com. It, it airs every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. 
It's a live broadcast, a live digital broadcast. Um, and that was something that we moved away from originally when it started and how I could kind of lure uh, Serlani into doing this. Um, so we started off on YouTube doing um, the broadcast, but went to live broadcasting because we wanted the energy of having people in chat to interact with us and have that full uh, experience and, and connect with our audience. And you, it was kind of hard to do it in a podcast sense. So, yeah, so people can go to spaceboyuniverse.com. Um, we have a, a little thing at the top that people can access for our previous shows. And, of course, we recognize that, you know, on Saturday night, not everybody can listen to us live. So we have our Spreaker site, our SoundCloud account. YouTube and iTunes that back up our, our shows so that anybody can listen to. And so that's kind of pretty much how the show is. And, and as far as how we look at topics is for our show, you know, you know we, we came from uh, a fringe uh, science, you know, from my end, uh, I enjoyed fringe science, but I didn't want the show to be focused on fringe science. Uh, so we broke it down to six topics, which was fringe science, music, technology, pop culture, games, and history. And I think it's worked out pretty well so far. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's very intellectual, very expanded. It's awesome. I, I really do appreciate your show. And, of course, I encourage everybody else to take a good listen, too. And you have some cool products with Space Boy, too. You have some some cool little things that you're selling, too, right? So what? Oh, are you talking about our, our, like our branded products? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, basically, when he says we produce a show, he, he's not – kidding he actually you know is running the equipment he's you know producing it where both of us are contacting guests i'm making the artwork the logos the any of the graphics we use to advertise it on our social media of course he can do some too i'm also now getting to video production i've been directing him and cutting up the films in adobe premiere and we're doing that we're doing that tonight tomorrow so the whole thing is done between the two of us just the two of us awesome. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of work. It is, that. It, it is a lot of work. And it leads to a lot of things. <laughs> Which mm -hmm. translates into some very interesting shows between us. Oh, I bet. 